Good day, learners! Life on Earth is a product of different interactions in a region or geographic area where both biotic factors such as plants, animals, and other organisms and a biotic factor like weather and landscape work together This area is called ecosystem. Living things cannot sustain life without non-living things. For instance, a mangrove tree needs water and muddy soil to survive together with other life forms. This lesson will discuss the interactions of organisms to their physical environment. Specifically, this will help you describe such interactions in estuaries and intertidal zones. Estuaries are areas where salt water and fresh water meets. Normally, running water in a river goes into the sea. Water in estuaries is less salty. The measure of salt and water is called salinity. Thus, the estuaries have low salinity. The level of salt content of water affects the ability of the organism to survive. Organisms require energy to perform life activities. In this case, they need to eat food. I want you to analyze the figure. Observe the pattern how organisms interact and get energy. Intertidal zones are area where the presence of water depends on the tides. During high tide, these are covered with water. During low tide, the water diminishes and exposes the part of the seabed area. This part of the sea can be sandy, rocky, or muddy depending on the presence of different materials. Just like in estuaries, organisms in intertidal zones need energy to live through eating food. Let's analyze the figure. Let's observe the different organisms and imagine how they interact and get energy. In both estuary and intertidal zone, organisms have different roles to perform. Producers They are organisms that produce food from sunlight and inorganic substances. Phytoplankton, algae, sea grasses, and salt marsh plants are examples of producers. Consumers are organisms that eat other organisms. Sea urchins, green crabs, mollusk, and anemone are examples of consumers. While scavengers are organisms that eat food scraps and leftovers. Examples of scavengers are rock crab, large fish, and mollusks. And decomposers are organisms that break down into simpler materials from the remains of dead organisms. 
bacteria, fungi, and marine worms are examples of decomposers. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye!